Hey everyone, here I was going to be doing a review of this power station right here. Uh, it's by Bluetti and the exact model is the EB55. I've had this power station for about a month now and I really like it. I definitely think it's one of the leading power stations on the market right now. So in this video, I am going to go over the different things that I like and don't like about it and the different specifications of it. And also I'm gonna show you how I use it, the different things I use it for. And then also at the end of the video, I am going to do a test run with it where I plug in my 12 volt refrigerator and have it run overnight while I'm camping just so you can see you know how it works and how much battery it uses and stuff like that so stay tuned so here it is right here and my first impression of it was that it was just a really good looking and you know professional looking product when I uh pulled it out of the box the packaging was really really well it was like a really i would give the packaging like an a plus this is the eb55 and so it has one 12 volt port that's like a cigarette outlet for a car it's got four ac ports four usb ports one usb c port and then this is where you plug in different charging cords. It has a 700 watt inverter built into it and then a 1400 watt max surge. So basically anything that is 700 watts or under you can use. You can't use really powerful stuff like a microwave or a hair dryer or a space like a big space heater just because they're just you know it's not meant for really heavy electronics like that but small stuff it works great now the first spec of this power station that i'm going to talk about is the one that i feel is the most important and the reason why i feel like this uh, power station is better than other power stations and that is because it is made with lithium phosphate uh, cells, which is uh, spelled LIFEPO4. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but lithium phosphate or lithium iron phosphate, one of those, is uh, basically a newer technology of lithium batteries. Most rechargeable electronics take what's called lithium ion batteries and like right here you see these are different electronics that i use to charge that i use this power station to charge and you know ironically they're i i checked all of them and every single one of these is a lithium ion battery this is a rechargeable headlamp with uh rechargeable batteries these are my camera batteries this is uh my rechargeable uh, razor these are drone batteries and some other stuff and all in my laptop all of this stuff is lithium ion but this is made with lithium phosphate or yeah lithium phosphate before doing this review i didn't know a whole lot about lithium phosphate but i did some research and i found out that it just lasts a lot longer it is a much nicer higher quality uh technology compared to lithium ion so basically bluetti advertises this box as having 2500 charge cycles which is a lot so like another brand jackery they their power stations are not made with lipo4 they're made with lithium ion and their power stations only have 500 charge cycles so 2500 charge cycles that means it lasts five times longer than other brands that is a lot like i did the math and if you were to fully charge this every day like fully discharge it every day and then charge it up every single day it would take about 6.8 years um, to get to 2,500 cycles. So this thing will last a very, very long time. I plan on using it for a long time. I am not worried about the batteries on this thing really ever wearing out anytime soon. Um, I'd be more worried about one of these, you know, one of these plastic ports or one of the, you know, something on the outside, some like superficial break, like the handle or, you know, one of these plugs or something like that. Here are some specs right here. So from the owner's manual, it says that it is 700 watts is the rated power, 1400 watt surge, 537 watt hours capacity. The battery type is LifePo4. Uh, it weighs 16.5 pounds. The dimensions are 10.94 by 7.87 by 7.79 inches. 
uh, IP21 protection. I'm not sure what that means. And also it came with multiple charging options. So this is the house charger, plugs into a wall, an AC outlet. It came with this 12 volt charger so you can plug it into the cigarette outlet of your car. And it also came with a, I don't have it on me, but it came with a solar adapter, which is really awesome. I don't have any solar panels, so I don't plan on using that, but it is an awesome option. It has a universal the solar adapter it has like a universal solar uh, connector and from my understanding it will fit most solar panels which is really awesome the solar works great on this i looked up some other review videos where they were testing out solar panels on it and it works awesome and it also has a wireless charging spot that's what this little dotted line is that penguin sticker is mine i put that there but yeah you just if your phone has wireless charging you just set it right there and it'll charge it and also it has a light in the back which has actually become really handy for me um i have a tent that i set up sometimes and i put this table this is a folding table i put it in the tent and i put this on the table and it lights up the inside of my tent just just perfectly and also i love how it's flat on the top the like the other power stations the other brands they have like a handle that's built on top so it's like you know you can't really put anything on top of it but when i have this sitting in my car i can put stuff on top of it which is really nice all right so now it is time to talk about the things that i don't like about it and there's not much i don't like about it but the main thing i don't like about this power station is the display so and mainly just the uh, the battery percentage logo. So it doesn't tell you the exact percentage of battery left. As you can see, it's just like an old-fashioned battery logo that says 20, 40, 60, 80, and then 100%. I would much rather it say the exact percentage of battery left, like 32% or 87%, you know, whatever it is. But that's not a big deal. It doesn't affect how it runs in any way. Also, I forgot to say that it's cool because it tells you the input and the output watts. And it's interesting because whenever I have my the AC plug, the house plug charging it, it normally it's close to like 200 watts but then when i have it plugged into the cigarette outlet of the car it's only like 30 to 50 watts so this house charger definitely charges it a lot faster so here one of my uh batteries for my digital camera just died so i'll just show you one of the uses i'm using it for so i have it plugged into the usb port this is like you know the battery goes in there and it charges and you can see it says three watts that's very very little um, the most powerful thing I have that I charge is definitely my laptop. My laptop is a very powerful gaming laptop. I had to buy a powerful one so I can edit high definition videos for my YouTube channel. But when I have it plugged in, it's about 100 watts. And then here I'll just show you another little thing. So this is my phone charger. Basically my phone came with this charger. It's a speed charger or it's called a warp charger. It's, it charges it from zero to full in like 30 minutes. And it's, uh, it's like a really powerful charger. I love it. It's really handy, but yeah, it plugs into there. And as you can see, it's 31 watts. I unplugged my camera battery. And then here is a controller for my drone that I have. It's rechargeable also. And as you can see, it's only five watts. Mostly every like small electronic that I have is like less than 10 watts when I'm charging it. All right, so I finished filming most of it just in time. The sun is going down. And if you don't follow my channel, basically I have been living and traveling in my car. I go to, cam I'm, I'm camping right now. I'm at a campsite. So there's a fire pit and stuff and I built a sleeping platform in my car I sleep inside and I travel around so I use this power station like every day now I use it for charging stuff and but the main thing that I use it for is this 12 volt refrigerator right here and yes this is a real compressor refrigerator it's designed for cars and it plugs into the cigarette outlet of your car and I have like all kinds of food and drinks and stuff in there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go charge this uh, power station up to full real quick. And then I am going to plug this cigarette outlet or plug it in to the cigarette outlet right before I go to bed. And then we'll see tomorrow morning how much battery it used. So here I'll just show you this right quick. Basically, I have a power inverter that um, plug that's connected to my 12 volt battery in my car. And when my car is turned on, it's a Prius, I can plug stuff in there. So anyway, I have plugged in the house charger into this power inverter. And so here you can see that it's right at 200 watts input. It's charging right now. And now I'm going to plug in the 12 volt 
charge. So here I have a 12 volt socket in the back of my car and I plugged in the 12 volt charger right there and it goes right there. And as you can see, it's at 51 watts now. It varies, sometimes it's in the 30s, sometimes it's in the 40s, it really varies, but yeah. So yeah, as you can see, the house plug definitely charges it a lot faster than the 12 volt plug. So here we are, 11.30 at night. I'm about to go to bed. I just set up camp. This is where I sleep. I have an air mattress in my sleeping bag. I sleep in the back right here in my car. And the Blue Eddy power station is up here, sitting on top of the fridge. And it is fully charged, as you can see. And I'm going to plug in the 12 volt refrigerator. And we will see, you can see the fridge just turned on and we will see how much battery is left in the morning. All right, so here I am inside the car and I'll just show you that when the compressor on the fridge is running, it, it just kicked on, it is giving out 36 watts, which is really not that much. Um, my laptop gives out uh, more than three times that. So, um, and the compressor to the fridge only kicks on really like a few times an hour and it runs for like, maybe five minutes and then it shuts off. So here we are the next day. It has been powering my fridge the whole night. It's 11.30 in the morning and I wanted to get a full 12 hours of it powering my fridge. Um, I keep my fridge at 30 degrees and as you can see, it only used one bar of power, which is pretty good. Um, I haven't done a full test to see exactly how many days it will power my fridge. <laughs> But when I was at a relative's house recently, I had my car parked in their driveway. And when it was parked, I powered my fridge with the Blue Eddy. And after about two days, the bar was at 40%, which is pretty good. So I might have gotten another full day, maybe even another full two days out of it. I don't know. All right, so that's it for this video. I will put links in the description for the power station and some other important websites and stuff. And yeah, thanks. Have a good one.